Do you have an active toddler and you are stressing yourself out trying to teach them how to read? Well, you don't have to do that anymore because in this video, I'm going to show you four easy steps, things you can do today to fast track your child's literacy. So let's get started. Ask your child to tell you the story. Have them tell you based on pictures in the book alone what the story is about. Now, after reading several stories, I'm sure you probably need a break as well. So pat yourself on the back because you're developing your child's critical thinking skills while also giving yourself a much needed break. Even if they're familiar with the story or they've memorized parts of the story, they're gonna go into the story on a deeper level and use their imagination by making up parts of the story on their own. Choose books with colorful and expressive pictures. That's lots of pictures, but fewer words. The beautiful, colorful pictures are more likely to keep your toddler's attention and give them a chance to practice turning pages, to practice the analytical skills of making sense of what they're seeing on the page, and exploring the directionality of the story, like you go from the beginning of the book to the end. They can also revisit parts of the story that remind them of something on a different page. They're making connections, and those connections are building pre-literacy skills. That is, skills that are gonna help them once they formally begin learning how to read. Another really great option is to play word search with a book, and this is really simple. What you do is you find a book that has lots of pictures and fewer words but that has one specific word repeatedly several times throughout the book. You have your kid flip through the book and look at different pages, and then you tell them the word and you ask them to find that specific word on the page. Now this is something that a kid can do whether they know letters or even if they aren't familiar with letters, it encourages them to look at words and to see the strokes, to see the shape of the letters, and to be able to find it on their own. So even if a child isn't familiar with letters and doesn't know much about the alphabet yet, they can still engage in this activity and get something out of it. What about on the other side? You can modify this activity and use a word that your child is just learning to recognize. Yeah, like, so that same page. That's yellow. Yeah, where's the word yellow? Y-E-L-L-O-W. Right here. Yeah, good. I want to do something. Ideally, the word should be short and repeated multiple times throughout the book. And if you're excited about the activity, I guarantee your kid's going to be excited about it too. Another really fun activity is to sound out the syllables of words that your children really love from the books that you read. Like, for example, in Gerald the Giraffe, my daughter really likes the part that reads, the warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. Sound out the sentence syllable by syllable and try to make sure that you're pronouncing clearly each letter sound. When you do this, you're helping your child develop decoding strategies which means once they start writing, they're gonna be better able to hear a word, to sound out the letters in each of the syllables, and when they can hear those things, they're better able to write them. Now, these are all activities that you can do today without having to buy any extra books or setting up anything special other than sitting with your child and enjoying a book together. Are there other video topics that you'd like to see? We'll add a comment below and I'll add them to my list. 